So imagine a European airspace where all the different players work hand in hand to modernize air traffic management. Where systems on ground and in flight automatically communicate and transfer data for the optimization of all aspects of flight. Today we are at the threshold of this reality. All stakeholders, airspace users, air navigation service providers and the manufacturing industry are all working together towards the realization of the same unique goal. To make air traffic smoother, safer, more cost efficient, more reliable, more environmentally friendly and therefore more efficient. This vision is now beginning to unfold thanks to CESAR or Single European Sky ATM Research. A program dedicated to providing all European ATM stakeholders with optimized solutions. Designed to render air transport operations more efficient, crafted to achieve ambitious performance targets. As one of the key players in the aviation sector, Airbus, in collaboration with its industrial partners, actively supports and contributes knowledge and experience towards the development of the I4D, the initial 4D trajectory management function. An innovation expected to deliver wide-ranging benefits to airspace users and to the air traffic management or ATM community as a whole. With I4D, air traffic controllers and flight crews proactively share and agree on the trajectories to be flown while integrating airspace user preferences. I4D enables the optimization of flight profiles to reduce fuel burn and emissions and reduce the need of penalizing instructions such as vectoring and holding patterns. It is a promising concept with a distinct objective. Airbus is uh, committed to the success of the single European sky and help to offer efficient solution in terms of ATM operation for the whole aviation community. I4D is certainly a key enabler of optimized ATM operation. Validation has extremely progress and I4D is demonstrated to be mature now. To understand how I4D really works, let's look at the first real flight that took place in 2012. This flight demonstrated the interoperability and the degree of interaction between an aircraft and air traffic control centers. As the flight progressed, about an hour after takeoff from Toulouse, the A320, in this case, was about to enter the Maastricht air traffic control area, where data link connection was established. Via this connection, the air traffic controller requests the aircraft to downlink the airborne computer trajectory and information is continuously exchanged, much like text messaging. At the air traffic controller's request, and as soon as trajectory synchronization is achieved, the aircraft then automatically calculates the time window in which it is able to arrive at a specific waypoint, referred to as the metering fix. Using this data, the destination air traffic controller determines the best arrival sequence by taking into account traffic conditions and flight crew preferences in order to derive the optimal arrival time. This optimal arrival time becomes the constrained time of arrival or CTA which is uplinked to the aircraft and loaded into the flight management system or FMS by the flight crew. The aircraft then automatically manages the remainder of the flight in order to reach the metering fix at the required time with an accuracy of just under 10 seconds. By reaching the metering fix on time, the aircraft then continues towards the destination airport while perfectly fitting in with the other traffic. I say it's this great experience that you everybody is connected and the system will work. So we don't actually rush into Munich because we are late and we want to fly a little speedier to give our passengers more extra time at the airport. And then in the end we arrive at a fully crowded airport and then we have to fly another holding pattern, which we could have avoided if we have been slower down from the beginning of our flight. And I see the advantage that in, uh, we wouldn't have wasted so much fuel on two hours of flight because we were like 
protected from the very start of the flight with a certain speed so we don't actually waste fuel in a holding pattern in our destination airport. Yes, I see a big uh, potential in the uh, I4D. Uh, if we could get the RTA very early in a flight, especially in a long-haul flight, that would um, give the airlines the benefits to make an efficient flight and not to uh, waste fuel while accelerating in the first part and then decelerating later on. To validate the I4D concept, it was important to involve all stakeholders and gather feedback from all relevant actors. The CESAR validation campaign began in 2011. And since 2011, the concept has been evaluated by numerous airlines and flight test pilots. Systems and procedures are validated through a significant amount of end-to-end -end tests with pilots and air traffic controllers during coupled air-to-ground simulator sessions and real-life scenarios. Today, we can now say we have all these validation activities based on simulation and flight tests. We reach a sufficient level of maturity to move forward, to take industrialization decision and to begin deployment. We have come a long way since the start of I4D feasibility studies. In-service implementation will soon become a reality, with European actors on board. I4D will introduce a new harmonized way of working and communicating for pilots and air traffic controllers and will, above all, be a relevant solution to air traffic growth. The skies will be safer, more efficient, more environmentally friendly.